Hello, welcome to my channel The Office Guys Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create automated series using Microsoft Excel. So without any further ado, let's start the tutorial. So here on the screen, we have Microsoft Excel. And let's say you want to create some series of numbers. So what we usually do is we will type usually one. And what we do is usually we press the control and we drag it and we get the series, right? This is great when you are doing for 20, 30 or maybe 100 numbers. But what if, if you have to generate a series of 18,000 numbers or 20,000 numbers, in that case, you need to drag, you need to drag it for a long time. So today I'm going to tell you a shortcut to create series with just few clicks. So what you have to do is, let's clean up this. And you have to write the first number from where you want the series to begin. So let's say we want our series to begin from one. Okay, just click on that once again. And here you can see on the right hand side, you have fill option and come to the series option. And now you can say you now you can see a small window popping up. Now the MS Excel is asking you whether you want the series to be in rows or column. For example, I want this to be in the B column. Okay, it's going down. So I'll choose column and I'll give a step value of one. This value indicates the increment that you want to give to the next number. So if your step value is one, the next number will be two. If your step value is five, your number is going to be six. So accordingly choose what is whatever is required. So step value is one and end values, let's say we give as thousand for now and click OK. And you can see up to thousand, the Microsoft Excel has generated a series for you. In a similar way, you can do the series generation in the row as well. So you have to come to fill again, series in rows and stop value. Let's let's for now give 20. So you can see, okay, fine. So like this, you can see the 20 numbers are being generated. Okay, so this was to generate linear trends. Now, what if, if you have a starting point and end point and you want to fill in the gaps automatically by Excel. So we do have that option as well in Microsoft Excel. So let me just show you how can you do that as well. So let's say your first number is going to be one and your last number here is 55. It is for demonstration only. It can be any number. So what you have to just do is select the starting in the end point. Come to the fill option series. Now, if you notice, it has automatically generated a step value, which is 2.7. So now in this case, you need not to define a stop value because the stop value is already been defined. So once you click OK, you will see the values are been filled automatically. So using these tricks, you can quickly fill your data sheet in just few clicks. So that's all guys for this video. I hope you like the trick. It's not that big, but it can help you in some cases. For more videos like this, consider to subscribe to the channel and hit the thumbs up button to like this video. Thank you.